Bitch, why you fail? As we near the end of this DVD, I want to just uh, talk to you for a moment. We, the black man and woman in America, are a great people. However, you uh, should be aware uh, that we're, we were put in a terrible condition by the white people here in America. Many people tried to help us. Noble Drew Ali tried to lift up the black man here in America, uh, but he was murdered uh, by the American government. Marcus Garvey tried to lift us up, but he was sent away empty and deported by the American government. The Black Panther Party was infiltrated and destroyed by the American government. The government destroyed uh, just about every group that tried to help us. The most successful of all these groups was the Nation of Islam, established and built by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The white man bragged to the whole world how he finally destroyed the Nation of Islam and made billions of dollars in doing so. Remember uh, the movie Star Wars? It was released in 1977. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad passed or departed uh, in 1975. The nation then became under the leadership of his son Wallace uh, D. Muhammad and by uh, 1976 the nation fell and was destroyed. Let's talk about this. The title of the movie Star Wars gives us hints. Stars are heavenly bodies. When one thinks of stars you think of the heavens. Well uh, another way to look at that movie, you can call it heaven, heavenly wars or holy war. Get it? So Star Wars um, is a is a symbolic name for holy war. Remember, the Jedi and the Sith were religious orders. Now, in the movie Star Wars, Anakin Skywalker was prophesied uh, to bring balance to the Force. Uh, Yoda was against his training because he sensed much fear in the boy. Before we continue, let's look uh, at that last name, Skywalker. What is a Skywalker? Well, look up in the sky. Uh, every day you look at, at the sky, what do you see walking across it? You see the sun walking across it, right? So Skywalker is a metaphor for the sun. Anyway, Anakin Skywalker... Uh, in the movie would turn to the dark side and join the Sith and become Darth Vader. And then he would go on to destroy the Jedi Council and actually kill Jedi. Now this is all symbolic. Okay, let's keep going. Let's talk about Islam. The main symbols in the flag of Islam is the sun, star, and crescent, but particularly the crescent. The crescent in Islam represents the moon. Okay. Now the moon reflects sunlight to the earth, and the earth always sees the same face of the moon. There is a part of the moon that the earth never sees. It is called the dark side of the moon. So in the movie Star Wars, the dark side, you can say, is a metaphor for the dark side of the moon, or the dark side of the religion of Islam, meaning people who uh, use the teachings of Islam to carry out their dark motives. Just reflect for a moment. The movie Star Wars uh, was referring to the sun, the moon, and the star. Everyone knows that the sun, moon, and star uh, are the symbols of Islam. So Star Wars was, <clears throat> was concerned with the force and the dark side of it. Well, what is that force? According to the movie, the force is the greatest power in the universe. Uh, but what is that? Look at the universe. See how much order there is to it? It does not deviate from the will of the Creator. It submits entirely to the will of God. Well, what is another name for submission to the will of God? It is Islam. Islam means entire submission to the will of God. <clears throat> Islam, which is the entire submission to the will of God, is the force. In the Holy Quran, chapter 29, 
verse 45 says in part, Certainly the remembrance of Allah is the greatest force. There's a lot to be discussed here uh, as relating to the nation of Islam. But let me cut to the chase. Wallace or Warth Dean Muhammad did what the United States government, FBI, tried to do for years. He brought down the nation of Islam. The Armbalized Muhammad uh, ministers were mighty men, mighty ministers. The white men could not confound them when they were uh, under the leadership of the Armbalized Muhammad. They were like the Jedi with lightsabers. You see, uh, Prophet Muhammad of 1400 years ago conquered Mecca and the Arab world with steel sabers or swords. But the Iron Boy Elijah Muhammad was given much more wisdom from God himself in person. Uh, and he armed his soldiers with lightsabers. The truth is the light. Well, Elijah from Master Farah Muhammad armed his soldiers with swords of truth. Thus, he and his ministers were truly fighting in holy war against our enemies, Star Wars. Holy war cannot be fought with carnal weapons. Remember, the Muslims under the honorable Elijah Muhammad were commanded by God, Master Farah Muhammad, not to carry weapons like guns and knives. All you have to do is go back and watch the real Star Wars. Watch the ministers under the honorable Elijah Muhammad uh, teach the people and argue and fight <clears throat> the devils of white people. They were mighty. Uh, Malcolm X and other ministers like him went into the mountains, universities of America or the empire, battling Satan. These ministers got into ships traveling at the speed of light, such as television stations and radio uh, broadcasts, uh, signals that travel at the speed of light. The speed of light. Chasing and battling Lucifer or the angels of the dark side, or white theologians and scientists. There is much more to this, but I do not have the, uh, the time on this DVD, so I will go through this quickly. You see, Wallace or Warth uh, Muhammad turned to the dark side, meaning he joined with the Orthodox Muslims who use Islam for personal gain uh, to further uh, their will or motives and not Allah's. Although Muslim countries in the East say America is an infidel country, they do lots of business with her. They have become rich and extravagant by the sale of their oil. In John Perkins' book, Confessions of an Economic Hitman, he tells you how rich Muslim leaders in Saudi Arabia uh, sexually desire uh, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, white American women. These women are Christian. But they are very uh, rich Muslims, uh, but they do not crusade the world with charity. They desire more and more for themselves.